Meghan Markle clutched her baby bump as she visited the National Theatre for the first time as its official patron. The Duchess of Sussex was without her husband Prince Harry for the engagement, but she will be reminded with a special touch to her outfit. Meghan wore all beige for the event, teaming her Brandon Maxwell dress and blazer with the same Aquazura Matilda shoes she wore for her engagement announcement in the gardens of Kensington Palace in November 2017. The former Hollywood actress is learning more about the work of the institution and Met staff and apprentices working behind the scenes. The Duchess arrived at the theatre to a chorus of cheers as fans gathered outside to catch a glimpse of the Duchess. She was then greeted by Rufus Norris, the director of NT. Meghan met with carpenters and welders who prepare sets at the National Theatre. She met members of the Pericles Company, which was the National Theatre's first public acts production in 2018 which brought together people of all ages to put on a musical version of the Shakespeare play. The Duchess smiled as she was wowed by a warhorse-inspired performance by primary school children working with the theatre. Meghan took over the role as the National Theatre's NT, patron from the Queen in 2018. Meghan met children studying T the theatre and joked with them about how they remembered their lines when reading for their roles. Meghan, who is expecting to give birth to her first royal baby later in spring, indulged in her strong acting background and swapped the world's media cameras for the floorboards of the world's most prestigious theatre company. She spent a decade in numerous TV roles, most famously as paralegal-turned-lawyer Rachel Zane in drama suits. The Duchess of Sussex also has a background in stage acting, having studied theatre and international relations at Northwestern University, Illinois. The socially conscious Duchess also volunteered at a performing arts after-school program for underprivileged children in Los Angeles. Prince Harry is today meeting young people from across the Commonwealth at London's Lancaster House. While Harry assumes his role of Commonwealth Youth Ambassador, Meghan's visit to the NT is one of just a handful of solo royal engagements since she married the Duke of Sussex in May, 2018. The Duchess is a strong supporter of the arts and is a strong believer in the NT's ethos of producing world-class theatre with the aim of being as inclusive, diverse and national as possible. The 2017-18 season saw the National Theatre stage 19 productions at the South Bank, 10 across the UK, 3 in the West End and 6 internationally. Its UK-wide learning and participation program supports young people's creative education through performance and writing programs like Connections, New Views and Let's Play. The National Theatre previously announced that Meghan would take over the role from the Queen, but in an online gaffe. A day before Kensington Palace made the announcement. Daily My, columnist Rebecca English revealed how Mr. Norris hinted that Meghan has her own production to be getting on with. M's English wrote, Rufus Norris, artistic director of the At National Theatre, said after the visit that the Duchess has her own production to be getting on with, thanks for the headline Rufus, and revealed Meghan had talked about her interest in Greek tragedies. Earlier in January, the NT's statement read, the National Theatre is honoured to announce that Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex has become its royal patron. The patronage reflects Her Royal Highness's belief in using the arts to bring people from different backgrounds and communities together. Her Majesty the Queen has passed on the royal patronage to the Duchess of Sussex having held the role for the last 45 years and has been associated with the organisation since its earliest days at the Old Vic in the 1960s. The Duchess has spent decades championing the arts and feels that she can use her position to focus attention on and make a particular difference to the sector.